All right, so what's going on, ladies and gents? Today, I'm going to be... Uh, this is a new series I'm going to start on my channel. It's called uh, Guide to Improving Your Game, and this is episode one. And basically, you know, it's self-explanatory guide to improving your game. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing matches, and I'm going to... It's kind of like inside of my mind. And basically, I'm going to be giving you an idea of my thought process, what's going on in my mind, and how I'm playing the game. And I'm just going to give you guys general tips of how you should play. So it's kind of like back in the day when uh, x -Jaws did Inside the Mind of x -Jaws, where he kind of played and talked to you guys and told you guys what he was thinking. That's basically what this is. And I'm going to... The idea is to make you guys a better player because I do feel that... You know, I do have some skill. Uh, I'm not like a pro by no means. I'm not like the best player ever, but I have a little bit of skill, and I feel like I do know some things that you guys may or may not know. And I wanna, I wanna improve you guys. I wanna make you guys a better player. So, without further ado, we're gonna start with the number, the numero uno classes. All right. Now you gotta have good. You have to have good class. You have to. You can't run around with just anything. I know some YouTubers can, and they get amazing gameplays. But for normal people. <laughs> You have to have uh, good classes. So we're going to start with Black Ops 2, and we're going to start with the MSMC. The MSMC is a pretty good SMG uh, mid to long range, or actually close to mid range. And long range, it can do some pretty good damage. So what I like to use on this gun is it's a variety of things you can use that will make this gun better. Uh, you can use quick draw handle. That's what I personally use. I love the quick draw handle. Um, and you can also use the extended magazine attachment. Now, extended magazines, extended clip, it basically helps for picking up, like, for me, if you're a rusher, like, you like to run around and get in the action, this is definitely for you, because you're definitely going to run into two or three guys, and without extended clip, you could probably pick up one or two kills, and you can't get that last guy. Extended clip can definitely help. If you have good aim, now, if you're just shooting all over the place, you're, you, you're definitely going to need this anyway. So I like to use that. You can also use long barrel. Long barrel is for getting. Now, I heard some speculation about this, about long barrel giving your gun more damage. I don't know about that. I really don't know about that. But what I do know is that this gun, uh, it definitely can, it definitely, um, this gun can need it from time to time. This is for like long range gun fights where you get to those, actually those mid to long range gun fights that like you kind of struggle to hit or you struggle to kill from. This can definitely help you. Uh, I believe that it is... Uh, a lot of pros use it. I mean, when this game was back in its prime, a lot of pros used it. And this is for those mid to long range gunfights where you like get into those gunfights with the guys with the assault rifles. This is basically what you need. Okay, Silencer. Silencer is good because it keeps you off the map and it's good for rushing to spawn and just picking up those clean kills and basically going, und uh, going in undetected. So I do recommend the Silencer. It's pretty good. Um, laser sight is for people who really, <laughs> I hate to say it like that, but people who can't aim sometimes and they like, or they like to hit fire. It's nothing wrong with like, you know, nothing wrong with liking to hit fire. Like if that's your thing, the laser sight definitely comes in handy. Okay. Now the grip in, you know, it says, well, oh, my bad. It says like it has those couple of bars by accuracy, but from what I can see this, I don't see it helping. Like I've used it before and I don't even... I don't even know notice anything in terms of like recoil or accuracy or anything like that. So I, don't, I stay away from that. Uh, fast mags is basically sleight of hand in a nutshell. You basically reload faster and it's pretty good. But for what I would use is now this is my personal um, my personal opinion. I rock the extended mags. Now perks. Now I don't use ghost because I actually, in a way, I like people to know that I'm on the map, and I know that may sound crazy, but I like them to know that I'm there so that I can rush the spawn, and it gets them out of their camping, it gets them out of their comfort zone, it gets them out of them from camping, and it makes basically makes them rush me, and I like that. I like fast-paced action, so I would rock flak jacket because this game has a shit ton of explosives, and it's definitely necessary. So you could get away with lightweight or hardline, but I personally recommend flak jacket okay toughness i mean i don't recommend any of these honestly i mean scavenger yeah i do recommend scavenger but i rock toughness because i mean view kick's a bitch in this game we all know that view kick is a major bitch and it it helps so much in gunfights you guys would not believe okay now this is very tricky don't waste your time using any of this now these perks do work but they, they do not work as good as you may think i personally recommend tack mask Throw on perk three greed, and you get a second third tier perk, dexterity. The the ability to pull up your gun fast and to not be hurt by uh, shock charges or anything like that, or stun grenades, is perfect. I totally recommend this. It's almost mandatory. Now, uh, 
right here, I don't use the combat axe. I don't re really recommend it unless you're just trying to do some kind of goofy gameplay thing. You know, whatever you got going on in that department. I have never used claymores in this game, nor bouncing betties, nor frag grenades. I hear frag grenades are pretty good, but I don't use them anymore. I personally recommend C4 because it is wonderful. All you do is just freaking, you hold RB, you toss it, you just mash X, and bam, you got a kill. Well, I mean, you gotta throw out. You have to throw out a person. You just can't throw it in the air and get a kill because it just doesn't work like that. But okay, uh, on to the next one. Uh, right here, now pistols are kind of tricky. I like Attack 45. It's my favorite pistol in the game. It does work. You could use the Cat 40. That is also very good. But for the sake of it, I'm gonna rock the Attack 45. I don't like the B23R because it gives me too many hit markers. And the Executioner, as you can see, I don't use it at all. The only time I use it is if I pick it up. And the 5.7 is pretty good, but overall, the TAC-45 is, to me, just the best pistol. Okay, that's one gun down. Now, basically, you can carry on the same perks, and I'll, I'll, you can pause right here and carry on the same perks to your next class. But we're going to move on to assault rifles. Assault rifles, the AN-94 is just my favorite assault rifle in this game. I love it. Probably my favorite gun in this game, actually. Now, what I like to use is quick draw handle, I like to aim down sight fast, and stock. Stock basically is stalker from Modern Warfare 3. You basically glide all over the place. This crap is amazing, so I recommend that. And basically carry over the same stuff. Flak jacket, toughness, dexterity, perk 3. Oh, no, no, not dead silence. C4, and basically, yeah. So I carried all this over, like, you know, basically I use the same, uh, no, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I use the same perks, but different guns. That's basically what my classes consist of because I believe these are the best classes. Now I'll show you one, uh, I'll switch it up a little bit. Um, I don't really use shotguns too much. I mainly stick to assault rifles now and SMGs, so go to Scorpion Evo. Uh, quick draw handle because we like to aim down sight faster and sleight of hand, which is basically fast mag. You know, you just, or fast mag, which is basically sleight of hand. So you can reload faster. Now, what you can do to switch it up here is keep flag jacket. I'm telling you, it's mandatory. Put on scavenger, dexterity, and tack mask. And this way, you get basically unlimited C4s. You get, like, this gun shoots fast already, so it runs out of bullets quick. And it has a low, I think, I believe it has a low clip capacity. I could be wrong about that. But this gun definitely chugs through ammo fast, so this is really good. It chugs through ammo really quickly. And instead of a uh, TAC-45, what you can use is a EMP grenade or a black hat. I recommend these because they're really good. And if you're an objective player, definitely throw on the trophy system. But it, I don't think it uh, scavenger packs you, um, give you more trophy systems. I know it gives you more EMPs. So I use that for people who like to use sentry guns and basically stuff like that. So these are what my classes mainly consist of. I'll show you my regular custom classes. Now they have changed a bit. Like I've I put on silencers recently because they've just been helping a lot more. But yeah, silencers are pretty good. As you can see, they're all basically the same thing to an extent. See? So yeah, this is the first episode of Guide to Improving Your Game. And I had a friend come over and use these goofy ass fucking classes. I don't know what this is. But yeah, basically this is episode one of Guide to Improving Your Game. I hope you guys can take from these custom classes. And what we're going to do is we're going to play a match. And I'm going to basically walk you through it and give you guys just my insight on how I play. So, yeah. Um, I guess I'll catch you guys in a match. So, yeah, I'll see you there. Peace.